Update 5 is just around the corner and actually it got delayed but we will take advantage of that situation right now because these 5 items will make your witch when Update 5 arrives in Anime Defender. And the first item we have here is the Magic Mirror. Magic Mirror is used to evolve the Wish Unit. So Wish Unit are these things here. As you can see, these are the exclusive Wish. And you can get these units here. And after you get them, you can evolve them and it requires a magic mirror. That's why magic mirror right now costs 1,000 each. So that means that if you have a lot of magic mirror, you can get a lot of gems also. Especially if they will be having this shadow dragon here and the legion commander, which is the top units that they evolve using the magic mirror. And to get the magic mirror, of course, you just need to go in the Hall of Mirrors. And Hall of Mirrors is located in here. And it's best that you've unlocked everything such as this, the mirror. It means that you can get 6, at least 6, okay? So mostly you can get 10 in here. So it means that every 20 minutes of this game here, you can get 600 gems. You can get at least 50 lucky tickets. You can even get 50% of mini luck potion. And you can get also Wish. And in this Magic Mirror, you can get this. So it means that you can get at least 6,000 every 20 minutes of the game in Magic Mirror. As long as you are in Nightmare. Because, you know, other modes has a also low reward. So you need to get this Magic Mirror. And in the new update, there are new units that they will be adding. And maybe it will require Magic Mirror. But nonetheless, Magic Mirror right now is also demand whether there is an update or a new update but still the update always makes the prices blow up okay so you just need to grind this one and the second one we have here is the risky dice so risky dice is used to reroll your ranks of the units so you just need to go in here and then you will put some units in here and then you can reroll them using the risky dice and risky dice also is one of the items that will be very demand when the update comes because of the new units. Every new unit or every unit in the game will have the risky dice used on them, okay? Every unit because we want to have that SSS um, ranks in all of our damage cooldown and also in the range. And you know, update 5 will have a lot of new units, so it means that the demand of this risky dice will even go higher. And also I recommend that you will just trade these things rather than selling it through gems because gems has a cap or limit if you will put them in the boost. So I really want you to trade it to get its real value, okay? There are several methods to get the risky dice. And one of the best is the Tower of Eternity which I'm already floor 167, where I can get three risky dice in five to seven minutes gameplay. So I, if I finish those things, but if you cannot go with Tower of Eternity, then go with the raid because in every time this raid shops here is refreshing and they are selling also risky dice, which sometimes you get discounted just like this. And you can get these shards in here where you spend in the shop in doing raids in here, which costs 3000 or over there which also costs 3,000. So it really depends. So, But I recommend doing both. So one here and one over there because sometimes the stock is limited. So you need to have a Cursed Dungeon and Cursed Rail. Okay. And the third one also is the partner of Risky Dice. But take those. This is more demand than Risky Dice. And none other than the Frostbinds. Frostbinds we have here. Actually, I have 117. Is used to lock all of the ranks in the unit. So let's say, for example, I have here and I want to reroll this unit. You don't want to reroll the S, okay? So you need to lock it. Or if you don't want to reroll the A, then you will lock it. But still, it requires a lot because every reroll it requires twice, depending on how many ranks you will lock in your stats, okay? So that's how it works. And to get this, of course, one of the best, once again, is Tower of Eternity, which will get two each in five to seven gameplay. And also, if you can't do that, then go with the Rage. So it is sold in the Rage shop, which can also be discounted, which right now it's 14. And also in the Curse Rail, and the, the original price will be 20. So you need to just buy that, okay? Also, guys, in the end of this video, I'm going to show you how you can get the 100% value of those items. Because sometimes it is not the right price, okay? So I want you to get it 
in its right price okay all right so for the fourth items this is one also of the most demand because of the new update coming it means that there will be new units and that's none other than the legendary stars and those stars are this blue green purple and red these are legendary stars and it usually requires a lot of stars to evolve one unit so it means that this will be a very demand item when the update comes with those new units coming to anime defenders so that means that you can get those things you can grind this so take note guys that you just need to grind these things in here and not this thing because these mythic stars cannot be traded such as the dark the light and the rainbow but this thing here, which is the legendary stars, these are stars that can be traded. You can sell it through gems or you can use it to trade to get the value that you want. And for the last and the best item that will make you rich in Anime Defenders Update 5 is none other than the trade crystals. So this item is really demand right now even before the update i mean right now that i am recording this video i mean i've made a short video that mentioned this it's only 800 that time but right now it costs 1000 each so it means this trade crystal here is valued up to 593,000 of gems take note of that so it means that you can just use this to get that value in other player but the thing is the maximum price you can sell it in the booth on trade is only 400 so this is the method I'm going to show you guys that you can get the 100% value of those items that we've been talking about. So you just need to go in the Discord and then see how much value it is right now. So right now, trade crystals can go up to 1,000 to 1,200 of gem value. So it means that if there is an Eternite right now that is sold for 300,000, let's say 300,000, you can just exchange it with, I think, 280 to 300 trade crystals. And then that is a very good trade for you there. And that's just an example because right now, either night is, I think, increasing in price. But yesterday, when it was available to trade, it was around 300, 200. So it's really that cheap. But I don't know about right now because maybe it increased in price already but that's how you do it guys and these two items here which is the frost bind and the trade crystal can be interchanged okay so it means that in frost binds you can get a minimum value of 2.5 trade crystals so you can trade this up to 250 trade crystals and also vice versa you can trade these trade crystals and make it frost binds but for you guys, I want you to trade it to trade crystals and then trade crystals to the items or maybe units that you want. So yeah, those five items are very high demand right now. And hopefully that you have those items, hold it in your inventory until the update five is released and then use it to, you know, trade the new units or use it in your own new units that will be added in update five. But still, it will have you a lot of profit either way use it or trade it or just sell it through gems i hope that you did learn something and if you did leave a like pin you click the subscribe button hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any upload this is Tuki. see you next video